Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. How are you guys doing? This is going to be your love reading from the time you're listening to this going into December. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Just know, um, a lot of people are like, well, my I'm a Virgo and my other person's a Virgo, uh, so what do I listen to? And I would probably say, if you're confused, listen to your person's Venus sign, okay? So it could be in Virgo, it could be in any other sign. Um, uh, if your person's Venus is in Virgo, then you would listen here. All right, so I just wanted to clarify that for you guys. Um, yeah, so if you want to get a personal reading, click the link in the description box below this video, and that will take you to my booking site. Um, yeah, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. All right, Virgo, let's get ready here. See what your messages are. The drama, Virgo, it's always something. <laughs> other days, it's really pretty light and easy, and then other days, it's like, what the F is going on? Okay, so obviously past position falling out here is the Queen of Swords. Okay, present, the Six of Cups. The challenge, but the benefit is the Ten of Cups. Okay, driving the reading is the Death card. Crowning is the Chariot. The Knight of Swords in the near future. Wow, Virgo. Two of Pentacles, position of you, Two of Wands, position of the other person, the Tower and your hopes and fears, and the Empress, the Empress and the King of Wands. Oh my gosh. All right, Virgo, you've got some communication coming in fast, nonstop, love bombing. That's what I like to call it. If you're dealing with a narcissist, then hey, watch out. But you have... Um, I don't see that here. All right, let's just make this clear. This could be somebody new coming in, um, but there's definitely communication. Could be a past person, could be somebody new, could be somebody you're talking to. Right now, a lot of communication, a lot of good news. There could be travel, communication about travel, things coming in very quick. This is Cupid's arrows. Okay, so we have Leo energy here. There's Cancer. We have Scorpio, Libra. Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, for those of you on a need to know basis. Um, hmm. Wow, I feel, um, okay, I feel like it's very, it's like doubly positive communication coming in here there's or it's back and forth but you're getting something you're getting some news some good news from somebody who is feels to me like cutting other people out of their life okay i don't know how that resonates for you or it could resonate but there's a very very it's very positive energy coming through here with the sun good 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 vibes good vibes i'm feeling joyousness success happiness okay um there's somebody here, um, maybe you were temporarily separated from them and they're on their way back in. There's an opportunity coming in here. This person is seeing some kind of opportunity. I feel like they've been watching you. They're very curious about you. Maybe you walked away or they walked away or there was just some, you guys weren't talking. This person, like, very curious, a lot of questions coming in, um, love messages maybe an apology for some of you. There's like real sweet communication coming in from someone who I feel just not wanting to let you go. Could be a water sign, okay, um, for some. And for others, it's just like their, their emotions. The Ace of Cups is here. It's just like a new start happening here, Virgo. All right, or this is, like I said, it could be somebody new coming in as well who has been away you wouldn't know it because you wouldn't know them okay but let's take a look and see what the love messages are starting off here okay looks very i'm just seeing like your cards that are out here the i mean everything looks really really nice you know like the very positive energy i'm feeling like very good vibes and very positive energy all right let's see what the romance angels have to say okay Letting go of control issues, allowing the situation to unfold naturally. 
Wow, romantic love, attraction. Okay, and passion. Passions are on fire. Somebody's feeling really positive and happy, wanting romance, joy, love, you name it. Okay, past position here, we have the Queen of Swords. So it could have been an air sign that you were connecting with, but there is an energy of um, blood, hard, cold truth in the past. Okay, somebody spoke their mind. Was it you? This is, could also be the Virgo card, male or female energy, does not, we're not doing genders here, but somebody spoke their mind. Somebody gave some truth, um, factual, logical, emotionless truth. Might have been a little bit of, a little bit of coldness. There might have been some cold communication in the past. Okay, Ten of Wands. Um, somebody might have given some truth and said, this is too much of a burden to carry, and... I'm at the end of this here, you know, at the end of it. The 10 is always like the finale here, okay? Too much of a struggle. Something must have happened here in the past where it was just somebody became overwhelmed, okay? But what we're seeing here now is there's a reconciliation. Somebody is very nostalgic for you um, or you're thinking about somebody else, maybe uh, thinking about past memories, Um could have been like what might have been you know the real challenge might have been getting into um a good happy place with someone okay having that joy and support and fulfillment and that love deep love emotional energy i feel like two people here are thinking about this what could have been and how difficult and is there uh, is it is it still an obstacle or is it possible to overcome something and get to that ten of cups that could be you thinking about that, Virgo. It very well could be another person here. It could be both of you. And that, for some, I feel like is what's happening here. And I feel like that's what that energy is, or that communication. It feels like there's... Um, for some of you, because Six of Cups is here, and I have to give it the way I say it, this is a past thing. There is, a, there is an energy of still having some hope left, okay? Um, for some. And you know what, you guys, when I'm done this, I'm going to go on to the singles and we're going to just take a look for those of you who are like, okay, well, great. This energy is coming in, but I don't want it. And I want to see, I, I want to open myself up to new love. So we'll take a look at that. But right now I feel like what's happening here is two people hoping for a reconciliation or hoping to bring something back into union again. So what's driving the energy here is the death card. So I feel like at this time, the past is the past, letting everything go, uh, rebirthing the situation, being born again, okay? Could be religious for some. For others, it's just spiritual rebirth. It's just like an ending here. The past is in the past, transitioning and cycling out and starting over. There's endings and new beginnings. I feel what's happening here. Yeah, look, the Ace of Swords. So new communication to overcome these obstacles that is really what i feel like is happening here and crowning is the chariot so for some of you it's like what's coming down upon you there's a four of swords in the reverse there's a restlessness here it's like let's get going let's do it no more waiting no more patience you know we've been patient enough and so patient and been practically dead the end of the death of this situation <laughs> coming back into trying to get to that 10 of cups between two people okay you know um I'm, I'm just hearing if you were married to someone and there was a split or there was some problems burdens things fell apart I feel like there may be apology, forgiveness happening here to people coming back into union, working out their problems, sorting things out, finding a way to sort things out. There is determination here with the Knight of Swords in the near future. This is like, there could be, if you're in a, it's determination to make it work, okay? For some, there's travel here. So there could be a long distance thing where... Um, you guys find a way to get into each other's area. I don't know exactly what that means, but find a way to be 
in each other's area okay to be closer i feel like to be closer let me take a look here i'm going to see what this knight of swords is okay wow seven of cups this feels to me like going after somebody's making a choice somebody's making a decision to commit to a relationship you you have the two of uh, two of pentacles here and your person has the two of wands so you're both in decision mode i feel like you've got somebody here who's waiting for you to make a decision some of you may have cut something off in the past because it was too too difficult to deal with too much of a burden it was hard there was something here that was really hard it, it weighed on you were exhausted it weighed on you it took a physical toll for some of you and i feel like you have someone here maybe you ended it and time's gone by and some of you are kind of like maybe romanticizing all the good times right this person i they have the two of wands this is a card of waiting waiting for results waiting to make a decision this person i feel is in that position here still very attracted to you has um is, is feels very passionate about you um made a decision i feel in their life when it came, came to this relationship to say whatever will be will be if it's meant to be it'll be um just they it feels like want to just allow things to you know let the chips fall where they may okay but I also feel like there's an energy of determination to go at this one more time, you know, because there might have been a lack of commitment or living in fantasy or just not really knowing what to do. This Knight of Swords, it's, these are very contrasting cards. This Knight of Swords knows exactly what they want. It knows exactly what to do. And they're going after it like full speed ahead. All right, let me see. So here you are. You have the two of pentacles. You're kind of like, mm. I feel even if this person's reaching out to you, Virgo, you may not feel 100% like this is going to happen or work or that you can commit to something here. And I feel like you're going to be taking your time. Look, you have the seven of pentacles contemplating, weighing your options here, trying to figure out. And the option, I don't feel like it's a choice between two people um at this point i feel like it's sh yes or no should i stay or should i go should i invest again or should i not you're you're a bit conflicted here i feel like there's there's definitely love here between two people and deep emotion and deep connection here but you are not so sure this person is maybe waiting for you to make a decision they might be coming in to apologize tell you they want to try to work things out with you yeah tower in reverse for them they don't want things to fall apart they don't want this situation or this relationship to be ruined and i don't feel like you do either but you do have a fear here that maybe it is or maybe it will be or maybe it needs to be everything needs to be broken down and rebuilt up again okay there's a part of you that's hoping for that, but you also have a fear that it's just going to be completely ruined. And then you don't know what to do. You have a hesitancy about, you know, going and trying to work on something again here with somebody. The problem with it is that your emotions are still attached. You still, it might not be enough time for you, but you still feel the, you still have that soul tie with that person. Let me just take a look here. And then we're going to get into your person and really look. Yeah. Oh, wow. You have the Six of Swords. Um, there's This is fear-based. You have fear about this. This is about overcoming your fears here. This is about, for some, travel. This could be, um, should you do it or should you not? Should you get out of your comfort zone? I'm not sure what exactly that means, but for some of you, there's there's a comfort level that 
you don't know if you're going to be able to overcome that or cross over that. You're thinking about that. For some, it could be about travel or connecting with someone or going the distance or having somebody connect with you. Or it could be there might be a trip that was offered and some of you might be hesitant or not sure if you want to do this. Somebody's waiting for you here. Virgo, this person... Let's, let's take a look more in their energy. They have the two of wands. They're at a crossroads. Um, but I don't think they're making a decision whether to stay or go. I think they're making a decision about how long they can wait. And I feel like this person um, is really not trying to... I feel like they're going to initiate or try to reach out and connect or, or in some way, okay? Um, I feel like they're going to make kind of like some kind of initiation here with you, okay? Yeah, they're, they're not sure what's going on. They're kind of in the dark with the moon here. They're in the dark, but they're still waiting for you. They still want to be with you. They're still you know, watching to see. They're curious about what what's going on with you. They'd be willing to end things with another person or others. Um, they, they have very positive, good, nostalgic type memories about you. All the good. So that's what it kind of feels like. Like, like whatever was going on in the connection with this person, all the negatives have just washed away. And now... It's, it feels like both of you are thinking about the positive aspects. And I feel like that, that fantasy aspect of the positives about the connection is what's bringing you towards each other. The, the good stuff, do you know what I mean? It is what keeps you guys holding on to each other. But this person, so we have Piscean energy here. They are... They can't make a decision yet because they don't have enough information. They don't know what's going on. They know they love you. They know that they want to be with you. They know that they, they don't want something here to end with you. They are going to reach out um, or respond to something um, with very po in a very positive way. Um, they do feel hopeful. It, it, for them, you know, if there was any kind of communication from this person, um, if you respond, they, they feel very blessed that you would respond or reach out to them. But they're kind of in the dark. They don't know what to make of things. They don't know if they, they kind of have a sense that maybe you don't, you're indifferent or you don't want their love anymore or you're not interested. They're thinking about surprising you with something. Let's see. They're wondering if you're sad or if you're just no longer interested. This person's not pursuing to the depths of like, what's going on? Where you been? What are we doing? That kind of thing. I feel like they, I do feel like they will talk to you. And I do feel like they will send you a lot of, there'll be a lot of communication and it'll feel very positive. But I feel like they're hesitant to go in deep at this point because they don't want to be rejected they have a fear that you might reject them or that you're not interested they're the five of cups here they have some remorse um and a bit of sadness they feel lonely without you they ha they have had other people around them but they can't seem to get over their grief about anything that might have ended in the past so anybody else that's in their life or comes into their life, it's like just, it's not you. So it gives them, they still have this attraction and passion for you. That's the thing. Hmm. Let's see what else is going on with this person. Yeah, Page of Wands. It's like a crush. This person has like a crush, <laughs> like very smitten. You know, and I feel like they, like I said, they are going to reach out to you um, more than once. I don't think it's, I mean, I feel like they're curious. They might ask you how you're doing, but 
with the eight of wands energy it just it feels it that's like the 11 11 and it feels like this person is like they want to talk to you they want to talk to you because they still have a spark they still have a thing for you okay so the outcome of this reading okay very positive all right there's definitely a new beginning here Oh boy, for some of you, this person wants, you know, to have a child with you, okay, for some, I know that's not going to resonate for everybody, um, definitely Leo and Libra energy for some, but I feel like there is a level of this person views you as being on a much higher tier or level than them, and they will always think that about you, no matter how much you try to prop this person up or try to give them good vibes or good energy they will always feel like you're better than them you know um i don't necessarily feel like this person has low self-esteem or that they have deep insecurity i just feel like when they look at you or when they think of you it's kind of like they feel like they have to like really do so much for you like you come in Toward, they view you as like the queen of queens or the king of kings you know like the head the top number one you can't get any higher than you you're at the top you're like top of the line and they are a little bit below you but but they are up at the top as well okay let's see here all right so a leap of faith. I feel like you two are going to take a leap of faith with each other. That's what I feel like is going to happen here. I, I feel like there's a, a, a new opportunity, a new adventure. Like you guys are going to start over again and try to make things work. And it's, so it's really beautiful energy. I just get a sense that this person and you really don't want something to be over. But you're not so sure if you can get yourself from where you are right now to cross some kind of threshold, you have a threshold to cross and it's a little scary for you and you're not really sure if, you know, maybe you might feel, it could be a financial decision. It could be about moving or relocating, um, weighing, a, well, you know, I have to tell you, for a lot of you, that is what it is with these pentacles like how can I afford this is this the right move Virgo you have a tendency to really think along those lines first like you think about your money first I don't know many Virgos I mean I guess there's some that will actually just I mean unless your Venus placements are like I don't know elsewhere there's a lot of Virgos that are like okay yeah I love you but I gotta see if I can afford this <laughs> I gotta see if I can get off work like you guys always think about your responsibilities first you're not usually the type to just take a take a big leap of faith and at the risk of losing everything although um, you will always be seeking your one true love and you know some of you will some of you will take a some of you do take a leap of faith, but I feel like right now you've got to think about, you're not sp spontaneous. When you make up your mind to do something, Virgo, then you're spontaneous with that decision, but you always have to make up your mind first. You always, you know, not all of you, but most of you always have to kind of be like, well, all right, let me just plot this out. Let me figure out how this is going to work. It's like, you're good. You're you're good strategist, Virgo. You you probably play games very well. You probably take your time. Some of you might even play chess, and you're just good at strategizing your options and figuring out what's the best move for you. Okay, in a lot of ways, some of you, some some to much more higher degrees and some to lesser degrees, but it is what it is. And this person is crazy attracted to you. I feel like. I don't feel like if this is your past person, no matter what they've told you or what happened or what went on, that has never, I don't feel like that's ever gone away. In fact, it might even, you might even be more attractive to this person now because 
I don't feel like it's that you don't want this person, but I feel like you are just more focused on yourself and what your needs are and what you need to do for yourself. And that's kind of giving like that default um, where this person just feels like you don't want them. I f they feel like you're not interested or whatever. And that is kind of lighten their fire a little bit. And I don't feel like you're doing that on purpose. I don't feel like you're trying to say, well, you know, like it's intentional towards them. I feel like it's intentional towards yourself. <clears throat> I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay, so for some of you, the good news that they 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 wish they could share and that they will share um, is that they, it, for some, they've cut out people in their life that were they were letting influence them like in a very negative way like they took a stand and i don't know if that resonates for you in some way there might have been some type of influence or interference in the connection and i feel like this person wants to tell you that number one they came into a lot of money okay number two they're really ready to to try to make something work here with you number three they've cut out everything and anything and people who are just very negative and maybe talking bad about you or about the relationship they, they're making up their own mind this person regrets lying to you virgo there might have been a lot of lies so that's why i felt like the apology energy was coming in they have a lot of regrets we saw that here with the five of cups This person, they want to tell you how they feel. And that's what they're going to tell you. They, they have a lot of remorse and regret. Um, they're sorry if they seemed indifferent towards you. Um, they're sorry that they couldn't articulate their feelings too well because they had difficulty with that. They're sorry that they kept you in any kind of waiting position, that you might have felt that they kept you in that. Um, They're sorry it, for any interference, okay? Um, they want to tell you that they love you and that they've had this thing for you for a long time, that they're deeply attracted to you and they still have very strong passions for you and they don't want to let you go. They are afraid to contact you, Virgo. I see that here. Hesitancy. Um, but I feel like they'll get over it they'll take a risk some of you might be initiating just to say hello to that person and then things start flooding you know that it's kind of like green light go they get that green light to go they want to feel that way again their, their life is not as together as it seems um you might be under the impression that everything's fine but i feel like they just kind of had that poker face for a while or they didn't tell you that their life was in ruins or things weren't great for some maybe they did tell you but they might have had that poker face where yeah you know everything's fine they want to feel good they want those good feelings back again with you they stay awake thinking about you Virgo they always think they go in bed at night and they dream about you and they wake up in the morning they kiss their pillow and they pretend it's you I have to sneeze hold on Okay, sorry. I remember every detail of that day. Okay, so what day was that, Virgo? Some particular night or day that you both had together, they still remember that. They still think about that. As a matter of fact, they might fantasize about that at night, thinking about you and a very loving, intimate time together. Okay. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay. This person might have told you that you were too intense, Virgo, or that you just wanted too much from them. And you know what, Virgo? Don't everybody, don't let anybody tell you what you are, you aren't. You define yourself, not others. Sure, people reflect things back to you, but a lot of time when people are pointing the finger at you, every, every time they do, they got three fingers pointing back at themselves. A lot of people give advice and project stuff and opinions onto other people, but they're really talking about themselves. Um, people tell on themselves all the time and if you're clever enough to spot that um, and not own what people tell you or not absorb that you can take a step back and like take an objective look and say to yourself wait are, 
are you really talking about me? Are you talking about you? Because I think you're talking about yourself and your inability to change and blaming me for that, right? That happens a lot. So a lot of people are walking around with like the leeches of opinions on them attached to their bodies and their soul and letting people destroy them by everybody else like projectile missiles are being shot at them you know like you're not a target right you you know get your wonder woman cuffs on and deflect don't let people tell you who you are don't don't deflect where you turn around and you you know tell them that they're horrible just you just deflect and you say that has nothing to do with me that's all you you know or you could say hey okay i hear what you're saying i'll consider that i'll take a look at that but it's curious to me why you're pointing the finger so much at me, right? Who's this really about? And that's just a little bit of Kellyism advice here for you guys. Um, let's take a look and see what the messages of love are. I feel you even though we're apart. So I feel like this person, you guys can pick up each other's vibrational energies when you're apart. When you're sad, Virgo, <clears throat> this person feels the sadness. They don't understand why. Um, when it's your sadness but there's times when you're feeling things you don't understand why you're feeling them and you're picking up their vibrational energy you guys are connected that way it's kind of like if you have a string and you you pull it tight and then as soon as somebody plucks the string it vibrates all the way to the other person that's kind of like what the energy is so a lot of you might feel at times where you just wake up and you have this crazy anxiety when everything's great in your life and you don't know where that's coming from when you two are apart and when there's like stuff going on with this other person, you can pick up that energy. You can feel that. You feel them. If you've got absolutely no explanation, like I'm talking, you're not PMSing, it's not your hormones, you're not stressed at work, everything, you know, even if you just have a little of that stuff going on, <clears throat> this is like the intensity of those emotions, the intensity of things that you're feeling from someone who's not, you're not like, that you or you haven't been connected with or even if you are you just there and that person both of you you're tied you have that red thread string connected to each other for eternity and you just feel each other's emotions and it happens and it especially happens in a twin flame okay awakening this person is undergoing some type of an awakening here. This is the karma card. This is like um revelation. Things are come getting clear i feel like there's uh, a clearing of debris happening for this person firm boundaries are needed right now and i feel virgo right now you're kind of like that's where you're at you know you're trying to make a decision at this time if with either like an offer that comes in or just if you want to remember i was saying should you try to reconcile and make something work or should you just move on your merry way right because this card can be like overcoming your fear you might have a fear of moving on you might have a fear of moving forward with this person you're kind of in a stalemate right here and that's what i feel like your decision is do you overcome whatever this fear is to keep it moving or to return and try to you know make something work and balance things out here you're definitely in decision mode your advice is to really think about that first before you make any move i do feel like there's going to be a leap of faith taken here going forward but i'm not exactly sure how you're going to get to that and that's for you to discover okay the leap of faith can be that you know you're positively not a match and the leap of faith could be i'm going to reconcile with this and i'm going to uh, tell my heart and tell the person yes i love you but we're not we're not a good match because i have to be frank with you is somebody's name frank i have to be frank with you the empress and the king kings don't they don't go together they don't okay and that might be a struggle because one person doesn't feel either one person doesn't feel worthy of the other or one person feels they're too good for the other okay i don't know exactly who that's for that's just a little side thing that i was getting i mean it would be very i feel like there's love and i feel like the appreciation and the positive good vibes are there between 
the two of you, but I, f I feel, even though there is chemistry, that's what I was saying, the attraction is mutual. It's definitely attraction, and there's definitely passion, but how do you two work together? That's the question, okay? Because the empress is usually bossing the king around, or the emperor is in charge of the queen, you know? Um, actually, I just want to get another card for that. What is this leap of faith? I mean, whatever the decision that gets made and this new venture, new beginning is going to be positive for both. But what is this going to be? Huh. Eight of Wands. Okay. For some of you, you're, there's going to be movement, positive movement forward, but they're not telling me. Okay. There's no, the Wheel of Fortune. There's going to be change. And it'll be in favor to you, but they're not, listen, you guys, there's a reason why they're not telling me exactly what direction this is going to go. Okay, positive change forward for a new opportunity, but that could be with somebody else, or that could be, you know, the new opportunity for yourself or with both of you. Tough call, I can't say, but I'm definitely seeing change here. And it's really up to you, Virgo. That's what I feel like is going on here. Are you prepared? Are you ready to go this distance? Are you ready to cross this threshold of fear and get out of your comfort zone and do something here? Okay, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Some of you might be coming to this place like, okay, like I said, maybe I just need to accept this situation and move on or move forward with this person. But acceptance is key. Release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Okay, this is in relation to overcoming your fear and out of your comfort zone, crossing some kind of threshold. This is just, for some of you, it may come down to you just need to jump. You just need to jump. Like you're in an airplane and you're at the top, you know, you're at the highest uh, level up there. You got your backpack or your parachute. You stand there and think about it too long, it's not going to happen. Some of you just need to hold your nose, close your eyes, and jump. Okay? And that's radical acceptance and surrender to just be free and see and try. Others of you, uh, so that could mean for you to jump into this relationship and take a chance and do it and try it again and, and really take that risk. And for others, it's like take that risk to go on your merry way and figure out what you know go a new adventure in your own personal life okay and trust it's safe for you to trust in this situation but trust in spirit trust yourself in making this decision okay this is a past life lover so past life this is a lover from the past someone that you feel you know your soul remembers the intensity of this connection and i used the word intense earlier there's an intensity to this connection 100 percent point blank period all right let's see what the moon pie card deck you guys i do have this deck for sale but i have to get it set up um be patient with me i know you guys keep asking me and um i had it up and then for some reason um it, it wasn't, they weren't um, making them. So I don't know what's going on with that. I have to figure it out. So be patient. I'll let you know when the deck is ready to be up for sale again. Okay. A struggle, challenge, and competition. That's what's happening here. Some drama. There's a challenge and a bit of struggle that you're going through um, through the rest of December here. But there's a new passionate start coming, Virgo. Okay, good news also about money. Could be this person, it could be you. Like I said, there could be an opportunity. You might get an, a job offer to move and you may not be able to make something work with someone. You're coming into a good amount of money here. Um, there might be relocation for a job or starting over with somebody else. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, after financial loss, Great gains coming in. You suffered a lot, but you've got gains. You've got money gains coming in, Virgo. Okay, and there's new plans evolving here. This is awesome. You're definitely on a path here, Virgo. You are on a new, like, yep, victory, recognition, and applause. 
you are getting recognized for something, you're being applauded for what you do, the changes that you're making in your life, um, in love, career, your health, everything, you're on such a good path right now. And I know some of you are kind of like, I don't know if I want to go back to someone or try to make it work again. Like if you're going to do that, you can't sit on it. you got to make that decision, sort it all out, weigh all the options, figure out what's best for you, and then take the leap, take the plunge. If not, you, you can't be on the fence. you got to choose a lane. If you've already chosen the lane where you're on new, then we'll go into your singles reading and see what the energy is playing out there for you. But... That's a little bit of a struggle. You've got some, I feel like you, you and this person have some major decisions coming up at this time. And um, I feel like this person is waiting for you to decide. Whatever you decide, they will oblige. But it feels like the onus is on you. It's up to you. You're holding the key to this whole thing. It's pivotal. Whatever you decide is going to be your fate. Is going to change things. But they're going to wait. They're going to wait. My stomach is growling. Oh my goodness. I have to eat. Let's see. I'm going to get a couple of charms. And then I'm going to go into your singles. So stick around for the singles. Please do smash that like button you guys. And hit that subscribe button. When you hit the... Um, when you hit the like button, hit the notification bell as well. And hit the button, or hit the notification button, and then where it says all, click all. Then you'll get all notifications. And make sure that you have that um, enabled in your, uh, in your phone, if you're using it on your phone. All right. You know what? We're going to do the dates first. Okay, wait a minute. They're telling me something here. Okay. No, that's just chit chatter. All right, let's get your dates, names, birth dates, what's coming up. I'm not going to pull a whole bunch of them this time because we've done a lot already. But let's see what are Virgo's dates, names that they need to know. Spirit, please give Virgo their messages. Okay. All right. I just heard the name Chuck. Hmm. Somebody calls somebody cutie. Okay. Um... January 7th. Someone's name starts with an S or ends with an S or there's an S. I just heard Sue Falls. They just said Sue Falls. I don't know if somebody's name is Sue and you fell down recently or that's the city. Sue Falls. Jeremy. June 7th. Okay, they're giving me June 7th and July 4th. June 7th and July 4th. Somebody's name is Cece. Okay, I'm picking up uh, Janine or somebody, or they're saying Jemmy, like J E M. Or Jemmy, or Jemmy, Jemmy, Jem, Jemmy. They just gave me a Pisces again. Okay. Somebody lives in Arizona. Somebody's in Arizona. Oh, and, uh, I'm hearing Paul, I'm hearing uh, Pasquale. They just said placebo. What the heck? Somebody said placebo. 
What is placebo? Placenta, placebo. Okay, two more. Oh, um, August 11th and September 8th. Somebody's born, um, they just gave me the year 1989. Um, 1989. Okay, I said two more, and now I'm gonna say um, <laughs> September 3rd. Okay, that's I'm going to leave those there right now. And then go into the charms, and then we're going to do your singles. Okay. We're going to see what your symbol, your singles. There's new love. How you guys doing? How's everybody tonight? Hope everybody's well. Yeah, I wasn't here last night. I needed like a mental refresh before I brought the new energy in all right let's see oh all right we've got a flamingo and what the heck is this oh a black kitty this looks like a cartoon kitty kawaii maybe kawaii a kawaii kind of thing we've got a flamingo Hmm, I don't know if that's a resort or someone lives in an area where there's flamingos. I haven't seen a flamingo in 20 years. Pink flamingos. Pink flamingo. Are there any other color flamingos? Are there white flamingos? Okay, and now we have a wrench. Somebody's, somebody's an artist and draws car cartoon characters, they just said. Mm. Okay. All right. Somebody, I don't know if you're working with a wrench right now, but I'm, I'm really z uh, zeroing in on this little spot here on this wrench where you, you hold it and you use your thumb to adjust it. You might have something going on with your thumb. Maybe you have like text thumb <laughs> issues or you're having pain in your thumb um, because you're oh, it's oh, like an overuse injury. Somebody might have like uh, joint pain or knuckle pain or something from using something and always having to adjust with your thumb. Just adjust something. Wow, we're getting a lot of cats here. Okay, well, you know what that means. <laughs> this is Siamese though. This is, this feels like a Siamese cat. Somebody might have a Siamese cat. I'm getting a lot of cats. Oh, and then we get that unicorn. Oh. Somebody has it. Do you have it? Oh. Okay, and we have the cross here. Oh, Jesus. What would Jesus do? Some of you, need, some of you are asking that question about something. Hey, what would Jesus do? But this unicorn, this is like... This is like amazing. Something uh, they're telling me this is going to be amazing. December is going to be amazing for some of you. Just absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. You've got a crown here. This is princess. Maybe somebody has a kitty named princess. So there's like a princess unicorn. Something to do with the word princess. Okay. It could be a daughter. Um, maybe there's a, a man nicknamed Princess. <laughs> or someone views you as a, as a princess, male or female energy, you know, the energy itself. Or there's like a crown here. You know, there's something. Oh, they're just giving me a print. It's a prince, princess cruise, princess cruises. There might be a cruise or a, a trip or something. Is that a thing? Princess cruise. I just heard that, but I'm not, I can't confirm if that's actually like a ship liner or something. Princess Cruises or Princess Cruise. Okay, very interesting. So we're going to leave those charms there. Let's go into the singles. 
What deck are we going to use? Okay, yeah, they're saying go back to this because they want to give you also some dates for the singles. Okay, it's coming in for Virgo. Oh. Oh, Virgo. Okay, you have a king or queen of swords coming in. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, this person is going to be showing up. Hold on a second. For some of you, all right, they're giving me ages here. Okay, this, uh, this person's born in 1979 for some of you. Uh, for others, 1942, and for others, 1954. Now, these could also be the ages of this person, 27, they're telling me, or 29. And ages between 42 and 45. Okay, so I want to tell you something about this person coming in. Um... This, you're going to meet this person, but they are not going to be ready for commitment uh, or anything like that. You might be you might be able to date with this person, you know, go on dates, that kind of thing. Have fun. Um, go to dinner dates, go to movies, go to concerts, festivals, holiday stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. You will feel like, I mean, I feel like it'll, it'll feel like a wish come true and you really enjoy yourself. But this person... Um, has a lot of grief they may be coming out of another relationship or they have um, some sorrow um, something that they were hoping for in the past with somebody else um, they are still needing to forgive um, something might have happened to them a lot of negative stuff happened in a relationship they could have caused it or it could have happened to them whichever I feel like this person is still in the healing mode and I want you to know that right away. This is how I'm feeling because the four of uh, air is here. Okay, so this person is like, you know, on, they're, they're not in decision mode. They have mental exhaustion. They're just trying to recover um, from something. Um, they're not out trying to meet you and try to overly make you happy. I feel like this person is just kind of like in analyzation mode and still trying to sort out what happened for something in the past okay however i do feel like when they meet you and if you decide to spend some time together it's going to be a magical time especially around the holidays it's going to feel uh, there it, it's you're something you're someone i feel like that this person needs and they're someone that i feel like you're gonna need okay i don't really feel like it's gonna turn into like i don't want to say it turn into anything long term i can't see that that far but i do feel like you're not going to be alone during the holidays there's going to be somebody to go christmas shopping with or you know if that's where you are in the world and that's you know what you do or there's gonna be someone to to go to you're gonna have a companion you're gonna have companionship is what i feel it's not gonna be heavy though it's gonna be fun magical um a sense you and this person connecting um it feels more soulmate energy you and this person connecting will get to a place together where you just feel like wow everything is going to be okay that's the gift that you both give and receive from one another so it's not a it doesn't feel like it could be a friend for some of you okay doesn't have to be a lover okay for some but this person is very special coming in that you'll be connecting with okay it could be a, it could be a romantic thing where it's kind of like maybe a little bit of fantasy emotional happiness joy that kind of thing but i feel like this person's a bit solemn right kind of like heartbroken there's they're still kind of heartbroken about something that they're going through but this is companionship for you 
and it feels very positive and i feel like you're gonna really appreciate all that this person brings in and offers their time effort and energy and some healing vibes definitely coming from this person you both might be like i feel like spirit is bringing you both together to give you both to bring healing into your connection helping each other that's how it feels um they just said give you a couple of more cards about this here heal the grief heal the broken heart and i feel like for a lot of you if you're listening to the past reading who are just like nah just not going to be able to do that let it go then that's where i feel like you're going to open yourself up and if you haven't some of you may have already done that opening yourself up to having somebody come in here and just i don't know make life feel joyous again you know even if it's just uh, you know male or female friend you know same sex or opposite whatever it could could it turn into love could it turn into something more long term for the singles I don't think so. I don't feel like, oh, hold on. I don't feel like it will. I don't feel like that's what it's meant for, okay? Um, I feel like this person is coming into your life for a specific purpose. Um, see the blessing in why they're coming into your life. Not every person comes into your life is somebody that you have to latch on and hold on to forever. Some people come in for a season, you know, that's what I feel like this is. This is to help bring balance back into your heart. Okay. Learning about other things, um, learning about compromised, learning about patience, um, having, a uh, this is like a refresher for you, bringing yourself back to yourself, somebody connecting with you and you, you under, they understanding what you went through, you understanding what they're going through and, and giving each other um, validation and helping each other get to a place where it's like, you know what, healing, it's healing. That's what I feel. Um, because I feel like there's been a lot of stress. Some of you might have had an abusive situation. This person really helps you see that somebody in your life was lacking integrity and that maybe you made an unwise choice. There's a lot of opening up stuff happening here with this person. Okay. Now for some, it could also be another earth sign. They're just telling me. It could also be another earth sign. But if you meet this person and they're not air and they're not earth, don't shut them down. Just go by your vibes. Go by how you feel. You'll know if somebody, if this person, like if this is the one for you or not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now they're giving me <laughs> another. So it could be water as well. <laughs> and if fire pops out, then we're just going to negate the whole thing and say, you'll know when you know when this person comes in. And I feel like it's going to be around the holiday time. Okay. Getting out there. Can, see, here you go. That's what I'm, I said. And if a fire, here we go. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. We're not looking at gender um, or sex here. We're looking at the energy. All the signs are here. So you'll know when you know, Virgo, who this person is. It could just be a group of friends. You might meet this person through a group of friends. And there's kind of like a kismet connection. It may not, it may not, for a lot of you, it's going to feel more like, wow, I, uh, there's like a familiarity, but I don't feel like it's really going to be hot and heavy romance. It's not going to be that strong magnetic pull. It's just going to be like a familiarity. Like, have I met you before? That kind of thing. I don't feel like it's, it's just going to, I don't know if it, I, they just gave me the word. <laughs> they just said, tell Virgo a temporary crutch to help Virgo get past difficult times in their lives. So it looks good i mean i just don't see you really struggling through the holidays i feel like you're gonna have companionship and somebody by your side it could be a friend it could be a family member it, it could be somebody coming in in a romantic way where you have some romantic time together and 
it feels good. It's a feel, it's a feel good situation. Okay. I keep going on and on. So I'm going to leave your reading there. Remember, do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate all the support you can give the channel. We're trying to get up to 20K, hopefully before the end of the year. And that would be awesome. Um, and if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. So do click that link so you can get your reading booked ASAP. All right, you guys, and I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you, everyone in the chat and for your super chats, and I will talk to you soon. All right, love you guys. Bye.